Hello again, everyone. It's Jason, just Jason, and welcome to today's story time. Today's story time is brought to you by PNC and the City of Seattle Office of Arts and Culture. Today's story is about hip hop music and culture. And did you know that rap and hip hop have been around since 1973? Today's story is called The Story of Rap, and it's being read to us by Shakundi Salisbury Jr., who is a high school student and a DJ in real life. Take it away, Shakundi. Rap was born back in 73 in New York City at a house party. DJs mixed beats for dancing crowds, speakers thumped, and the bass was loud. DJs' friends would make rhymes, telling stories line by line. These rhymers were the very first MCs. No one had ever heard songs like these. Then came the great Grandmaster Flash, who taught us how to mix and scratch. 80s rap came to stay, and Run DMC Walk This Way. Then straight out of California IA, we tuned in to NWA. This new sound spread so far and wide, no one could stop it, but people tried. Then Soul met Hip Hop with a tribe called Quest. Tupac faced Biggie as East Coast battled West. 90s rap held a message. They were rebels with a cause. Everyone listened to Snoop Dogg and Nas. Lauryn Hill had a voice that could make you cry. And Missy had moves that were super fly. Now Kendrick staying humble and Kanye showed us Yeezus. Jay-Z has the flow that will never, ever leave us. Rap is for the people, just like from the start. It's more than music. It's a work of heart. Wasn't that a great story? Rap and hip hop culture started with one person spinning dance records and scratching at a party. Then another person made up words to music that rhyme. Besides hip hop, what other kinds of music do you like? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story. We'll see you all on our next NAM story time. See you real soon.